Let's convert the decimal, 0.64, to a fraction. Here's how we can do that. First off, let's call it 0.64 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so it's still 0.64, but now we have the start of a fraction. What would be nice is to get this 0.64 to a whole number, and we have two decimal places, 1, 2. So with two decimal places, we're going to multiply by 100. That'll give us a whole number. So 0.64 times 100, that's going to equal 64. And that's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator. We also have to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 divided by 100, it's just 1. So we're multiplying by 1, and we don't change the value just the way it's written. So 100 times 1, that's 100. And we have our fraction. Since these are even numbers, we can reduce this down to a simpler fraction. Let's give ourselves some room here. So 64 divided by 2, that's 32. And 100 divided by 2, that's 50. And we can reduce this even further. Divide 32 by 2, that's 16. 50 by 2, that's 25. And we can't reduce this fraction any further. So the decimal, 0 0.64, gives us the fraction 16 25ths. This is in lowest terms. 16 divided by 25, or 32 divided by 50, or 64 divided by 100, they'll all give you 0 0.64. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.